I just uh, want everyone to know that Gnome's first cape was done with Jesse. I'm leaving VC. Thank you and, very much. And it should. I'm so done. <laughs> All right. Anyways. God damn. Um. Okay. Invos that you can switch out. Hardcore's a given. Um, no help needed is a given. Walk the path and Pathfinder's a given. Um, you can use Pathmaster to get 10 more raid level. I would highly recommend trying to get this off if possible. Uh, this is an option. A lot of people use overly draining. I think it's trolling to use overly draining on a 500. Uh, you're going to use dehydration on a diet. Overly draining is like, I don't have Kyrus or something weird. Um, I don't like overlords. Usually you would run overlords. So the ones people struggle with are double trouble and keep back. So what you could do is do keep back overlords and then something get five raid level. I don't know what you do, but you get the point. So overlords is bad for points and speed. I turn it off. If you're good with Akka invocations, then you can run all of these. And I'm going to run all of them just to show how you do it. But Teuton Ratty, I'm not going to trade over all my gear, ZBA. I miss doubles. Uh, yeah. For the most part, you're just running every single boss invo. I've heard of people not running... Um, oh, what is it? The one that speeds up P1? Yeah, don't turn off Ancient Haste. This is this is good raid level. There's nothing that needs turning off in the boss invos except for maybe Aka ones if you struggle with them. So keep back in double trouble. Both of these are pretty easy to deal with. You'd be surprised. And then Overlords, you can turn on if needed. I don't like it, though. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to pop. You don't need five restores. Come on. Come on. Get real. All right, we go again. Uh, all right. Flick gooder. Watch him need five restores and not a chance. Leave CCB? Yeah. For a learner, like, just bring Void Waker. This is fine. You have six restores on. It's free. Heart Prepot? Oh, well. It don't matter. Man. I did take four. I swear, I swear I took four. Because this feels right. I'm so confused. Did I take five? I thought I remember taking five, but this feels right. I don't have to do that. Okay, Charles Drain Prayer, that means shamans are priority. I'm going to be repeating a bit because... Man, I'm doing two bits! It's actually just lost. Void Waker. Let's just use up the spec. I don't need to hit that. I'm learning. I 
Um, the shamans summon four thralls each, so they'll have a set of four assigned to them, and then they start maging you. So if you chin like a pile of thralls, they'll stop maging you. And it's only assigned to them, so it can be hard to tell. There can be, like, a ton of thralls in the room and they're still summoning. I want to get that thrower. I don't want to drink another dose. Because I can do Baba with this much. Okay. Baba, you don't need prayer. You don't need any resources. It's a completely free room. If you do it properly. So that is the plan. Okay, I used one dose. I'm going to use zero doses on Baba. That's the plan. Uh. Okay. So what I do for Baba is I stand right here. I have a slightly different setup now, so I'm going to do this. I have trolled. That's not my BGS. What is happening? Perfect. As all things should be. Okay, you can tank back to get in cycle. Oh, I see I didn't drop anything. That's why. Okay, well, now I got to drink a dose. Unfortunate. I'll show it properly next time, man. Ay, ay, ay. Drop a restore. <laughs> this will help you. Click diagonally to go around the boulder. And then just keep going. Come back. Yes, I can throw. Good call. If I had like five to six prayer points, I just wouldn't throw all this room and get through it with no use. And fall asleep. My cue for Red X to continue the cycle is just her throwing the paw up and then I click. Paw up, click the obelisk. Paw obelisk. It's really easy. It's a two-tick window, so it's very, very lenient. How to fix it is more important than the setup. Yeah, true. Sometimes if you mess up, you've got to just tank uh, an AoE, and that's okay. It hits like 30, so as long as you have more than 30 HP, you should be fine. Just tank it. I use ZCB for boulders. You can use pipe. Stay standing at the back. It gives you more time to run. You can run faster. I should kill these. Yeah. Okay, do one more. I have to wait until it's not two apart. So we're going to wait for that. There we go. Skip it. Run right here. Drop your partial restore. And this is my actual setup. Do a Void Waker auto. Swing. And come back. You can also drag it one further. Make it a little easier. And you can throw in a CCB spec. I actually hadn't hit enough BGS. I should have BGS. That's okay. Always run Blood Fury? Yeah. Blood Fury is really, really good for a Kefri. It's a sick setup. It's fast and it gives you an extra Void Waker auto hit, which is nice. A little extra damage. Mr. Tasty, GM GM. Um, on this top row, mind the gap does not actually matter. It will not kill you, which is really nice. So if you can ever be red Xing from here like this, it won't kill you. 
which is nice. Do switch. Void Waker Auto. Step back. I trolled. It's fine. You can still do it running if you forgot. Uh, I'm going to wait. It's not worth being anymore, so we're going to Void Waker. over to him. Hmm. Pulling a rune from rune pouch before entering Baba to drop it instead of the pot increase the hitbox. I mean, it's so easy to click it. I don't think it's a big issue. Overcomplicating. Do you use the life jacket when you go to the hot tub? Yeah. Yeah, every time. It's really important. You've got to be safe. Do you know how many people have drowned in hot tubs? Probably a lot. I don't know off the top of my head, but probably like most people. Do one of these. She's dead. Pick up the pot. Make sure I didn't leave one down there. I did. Guess you have to do that when you're short. Dude. Okay. I always do Kefri. We got a level three Zebak, so decent chance. These are really bad le level layouts. Decent chance that he is level four, but that's okay. There is a one in three chance that Zebak is level four. Oh yeah, you cross. I haven't done solo in so long. Okay. Yeah, level four is not ideal. But it's okay. I just reset? No, I don't reset. That's unnecessary. We're out of run energy because I goofed. Unlucky. I'm a walker! Do you think it's hard to level 4 Zebak or level 4 Kefri? Kefri levels don't matter. The only levels that matter are Zebak and Akka. Akka needs to be high level. And Zebak needs to be low level, ideally. Uh, are we good? Yeah, it should be. Except that... Okay, I'm going to stop BGSing. I think one at the beginning is worse than a 500. I'm not 100%. Actually, I think it's not even worth BGSing at all with Void Waker. Do one here to trap. Why does Akka need to be high level? It doesn't actually matter in a solo 500. But in my one plus ones, I need to get time to do zigzag. It makes it harder. I think a level 4 Akka is easier than a level 3 Akka, personally, but it doesn't actually matter. Why does Zebak level matter? Zebak level 4 is very bad. It's hard to do the room. And it also increases the speed of uh, Warden's attacks, which is bad. Patch, you bat chest one more time. I'm going to bat your chest. Blue hat. Frumpy little hat. Okay. Do one hit. And honestly, I'm just going to do this on Torva. I don't really care about damage on it or speed. Normally, I'm doing pipe shots on this in between, trying to improve my speed and stuff, but it doesn't matter. Chin that clump. Chin 
Chin that clump. Shoot you. Shoot you. We're done. Kill this. Okay, on Arcane, we're going to do a mix of Shadow Hits and Fang Hits. I think... I can't remember if Fang is best DPS or not. Fang is definitely more consistent, though. We're going to do Shadow until we get up next to it and then Fang. That is the plan. Let's kind of get to where it spawns. Okay. Man, this looks easy to normal 500. <laughs> it's actually so free. Okay. And they just killed Mela. Trap Mela so you can pray ranged? Yeah. Just makes the room easier. And a Void Waker. Void Waker. Void Waker is better than ZCB on Kefri. Even at 500 health. When does Major teleport? So, rules with the Arcane are... You need to deal over 40 health. Over 40 damage in any hit splat will make it teleport instantly. And then 3 hit splats below 40 and above 3 will make a jump. Any hit splat below 3 does not count. So that's it. You're looking for 3 small hit splats or 1 big hit splat, basically. Is more overloads worth it? You can throw it on if it lets you get something hard off. Sure. Melee heals boss? Yeah. So you gotta kill it. Is that for 500s? Nope. That's for everything. If you add more teammates, it requires more hit splats. That's one extra hit splat per teammate. 40 still always sends it, though. I try not to pray ranged if possible. So as long as I have enough health, like I try not to. You can also walk a bit because you're going to be walking towards the end if you're not careful. Gonna do dung. Okay. Man, is that so little health? I'm not used to a normal 500. I'm used to everything having double. Bus in. Drop your kid at the end to get another? I can't get another. I have two in my bank. It's lost. Goaded with the sauce. Okay, drop this. Release these. Oh, perfect levels. Mwah! Okay. Every time what you're going to do is peep the levels. Um, if your setback is level four at this point, unlucky, you've got to deal with it. Um, and I want Akka to be level four. So we're going to do setback first. You want a lower level setback and a higher level Akka. That's ideal. We go, we go, we go. There is just a small chance you get a level 4 Z back with this setup, but I think it's still best. Level 4 Z back is not hard, it just makes uh, Warden hard, which is an annoying. You said something about zigzags? I don't do it in a normal 500. But the, the ladder skipping through the Simon Says is what I mean by that. Notice I've used two doses now. Total. 
That is what I've used. You don't need that much restore if you are playing properly. Why did I just rip the bag here? I think I don't. Yeah. Let me pull this out. Use it. I'll take a free pre-hit. Level 4 Zebak makes his Enrage 2 tick instead of 3 tickets extremely fast. That's not really the issue, though. The issue is that it makes Warden attacks faster with Zebak, which is bad. So it makes your P4 a lot harder, which you do not want. P4 is probably the hardest part. If I play this right, this should be a, year, a zero um, prayer room. So what I just did there is a wave skip. I'll do it again. I have True Tile in the waves. You just shift click mark them. And when they're close to you, step away and through. It's really easy. Okay. For the first uh, jugs, try to stay at the left side like I am. This is always going to give you an easy solve. And then for the next jugs, you're going to stand in the middle. The middle is going to give you an easy solve for that set. So, uh, every time. So you should never have a problem with upset stomach. He just dies. He just melts. Oh. Okay. A little awkward to deal with bloods and waves, but it's very doable. Just keep moving. Those are dead. I'm going to skip this next one. It's too far. So go through the ways if it's convenient, but skipping is also really easy. See what I said with the middle? So if you have the middle, you can flex over here really easily. And this is three tick, nice and comfy. Very easy. Level four step back would be bang, 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 bang. It's a little harder. That's doable too, though. Other problem with level four is you can't catch these uh, blood barrages. They just hit you. Uh, we're gonna get fancy. Give me that. Okay, I have used two doses. So I have one more boss left. He roars quick. Damage good. When you bring, like, no switches, every room takes forever, and it's really hard, and you use more prayer. Incredible work again, no monkey. Why, thank you. Uh, drop a couple restores. This is the lower solve. We're going to go down here. Is that done? Yes. This is not the lower solve. I am dumb. That's okay. I mean, I could have done it lower. I'm going to not. I hate this one. It's like the worst one. Uh, I'm just going to come here. Here's a line. Oh, okay. Don't spec. This isn't your one plus ones. Okay. If you have the tail plug and you just click when it's green and you get an extra mining tick. Easy peasy. Got to do that to one cycle. Okay. We are salted. I have unlimited run energy because of that. Um, I'm going to drop one of these restores when I get in and then just equip it. Let me do this instead as well. ZTP is better damage on Akka than Tebow is or Blowpipe. 
in a 500. So you want to use that. Okay. This is one of the hardest rooms. This is arguably harder than Warden. If you're low prayer, you can camp Mystic Lore. It's almost as good as Augury, and it's, I want to say, a fifth of the drain. It's half an Augury for fifth of the drain. So, totally acceptable to do that. I'm going to pull my salt because I'm going to need it. I'll try to explain what I'm doing. It's, um... I have the same setup every time. I'm always going in this direction in this quadrant. And I'm always going in the same direction in every quadrant. That's how it always works for me. And then I have transitions to make it faster on the shadows. Okay, we do some damage. Is Mystic Might bad? Um, I want to say... They're both usable. Okay, with double trouble. It's gonna be six. You wanna move two tiles per movement. So anywhere you're gonna go, just move twice and you're good. It's dealt with. It's really not hard. People overcomplicate that really hard. It's just never walk towards the end and you won't get hit by an orb. If you're moving two tiles every time, you're fine. I'll do it again next time, I'll show it. Double trouble is actually way easier than it looks to deal with. See how little my prayer is draining? Augury is only, I want to say, a 3% DPS increase. And then Mystic Lore is a 1.5% DPS increase. So they really don't matter too much. I'm going to fail this on purpose just for so a show a skip. Stand here, go to this side. So my cue for the DPS check skip is him slamming the pole into the ground, and then you move to the outer, like, diagonals. All right, here we go again. Move up here. I'm moving two tiles in the last action. Two, 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 two. two. Easy. If you always do that, you'll be fine. Two. Don't walk. Trout. <laughs> what I was doing there is flinching six tick. His attacks are six tick, and his keep back comes out the instant that animation starts for the melee attack. So it's just a it's a flinch action kind of like Tob. It's death. Big circle. Two. 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 I gotta move twice here. I trolled. Okay, we're good. That's the only time it's shady is sometimes you've got to move twice at once. You just gotta recognize that if you're far out. Trolled. Akka can melee you 70, so be very careful with taking those. Always want to keep above 70 health. Literally. I would honestly curious if you're ever below that. I'll show you skip in the corners. I never start butterfly properly. I have these magic tiles. So what I do is I start in this quadrant. I go to this quadrant. Then I go diagonally, and I go horizontally again. And the reason for that is that you just do a hit from this tile, transition to the magic tile, do a hit there. And same for every other one. Every time you transition, you just go to my magic tile, do a hit, and keep going. You can attack while doing this. Okay, we're going to come down here. When he's a tile away, start butterfly. Oh, I'm out of energy. I forgot to resalt. I'm probably going to run out of energy. Eh, do you run out of energy? I might run out in come phase. We'll see.
Yeah, don't do what I'm going to do for Comphase. Literally just hold your spec. If you need to Kyrus, then Kyrus. I didn't need to restore at all. I could have done this in zero supply. If you're below like 40 health, you should Kyrus. I'm going to jump specs. I want this to be fast. And I don't get hit, so... I use true tiles on my orbs. Um, I know a lot of people that confuses them. I, whatever works for you. I need the true tile. It's huge for me. And you can flick this phase if you're good enough. You do not have to. Honestly, you should just camp piety. Heal if you need to. Use whatever you need in this room. This is the hardest part. That's so many orbs. Okay, I got hit once. It's okay. Every time it's three hits also. Okay, cool. Let me grab that restore. I have used three doses. The raid is over. I need to do warden now. I could have used two doses, but... What can you do? I'm going to grab power again. Yes, if you have a Thrall up on accident in that last phase, just swap it for a zombie. Try not to summon a Thrall towards the end of the kill. Um, I want one restore on me. I drop the rest here. I'm going to pull one Adrenaline out. and I believe we're good to go. I'm trying to remember, did I double ZCB? I think I double ZCB. If you don't have ZCB with you and you've, you've banked it for more restore, then you just uh, Void Waker, I think, three times. I'm going to double ZCB. I think we're good. Okay, summon Thrall. Go over here. Don't have PCB or Void Waker. Uh, you're out of luck, Claw? Don't say you don't have claws. It's lost. We're going to take one set of orbs. Okay, I'm going to tank now. I tank one. Okay, I'm going to tank one more. Healing now. Tank more. You need to tank a minimum of four. Okay, now we will get the correct warden. If you do not tank enough, you will get the wrong warden, and you will cry, because it is bugged. So don't do that. Tank at least four, and you will be good. You see? <laughs> always tank four. Always, always, always. Someone told me it was three. I've had the wrong warden with three. Okay. With P2, if you want to stand in melee range, you don't have to do this. It's going to reduce some of the damage you take, which means you need to waste less prayer because your healing is curious. Because the melee max hit is 4, and the ranged attacks, both of them, are max at 10. This is a lot less damage. You don't need to flick Augury, even. Just don't even use anything here. So if you can uh, flick some melees, that's ideal. It's right after you get the hit splat from the ranged attack, you switch to melee. Hit splat, melee. And we're good. Okay, this is going to be a 4 down, I think. Because I didn't bring DDS. So we're just gonna relax. I know DDS, I don't know, you could probably bring it. I just didn't bother. <laughs> it's not that complicated. Don't stand in melee range with the orbs unless that's a melee like that. It will hit you before it hits. If you're standing two away from two or one away from these skulls, you will avoid them. So that's an option. <laughs> melee thrall hits through prayer here, so ideally use a melee thrall. The mage thrall does not, for some reason. Okay. 
I got the boss below 80%, so I'm gonna get eight hits here. Six. Seven. So the thresholds are 80%, 60%. So if you get it below 80%, it'll be 8 hits the next time instead of 6. If you get it below 60%, it'll be 10 hits. And then from then on, it's 10 hits. Go back and do the crocodile puzzle. No. Keep high prayer in this room. There's no reason to be low prayer ever. You want to be at maximum at all times. Do I get this anyway? No, I don't think so. Yeah, no. Okay, BGS now. And like I said, four down. So with DDS, that would have been enough. We get it down in three down. I didn't bother switching my setup. Why say melee distance? It maxes lower. So you take less damage overall. You don't have to do it, but it, it makes you waste a lot less resources. See, it's always hit me a low number. It's max is four. Tricky. Always be watching under him. Yeah. Skulls are scary. Pay attention during skulls. All right, we're done. I'm going to put this back. I am gonna ZCB. Hold on. Inventory sorting is a little more awkward than one plus ones. Let's break this. I have so much adrenaline. All right, let's just send it. Augury is 6% DPS, I want to say here, so it does matter. And I have so much restore, I'm good. This is infinite restore. I can straight camp it. No more flicking required. Could you BGS spec for 3 down? I think maybe if you BGS spec every time? Maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it. Um, I stand closer here as well, because that just means... Um, do I do a skull? I'm not going to do a skull skip. This first 500. This is baby's first 500. Um, I stand close to the boss because that means that hit from back here doesn't get nulled. It just nulls the hit as it starts skulls if there's a projectile traveling, so it just saves like five ticks. No, I don't think so. Need rape here? Okay. Void Waker plus DDS works. Five hundred without the one hundreds back end. I think overly draining is trolling. In a hundred percent of cases, unless it's something weird like you don't have cures or something. Dude, oh somebody got raided. There we go. I'm just going to use this. Pick up what I can. Switch over and do ZCB. Never mind, it's fucking dead. <laughs> I'm going to heal in the last one. Oh, trolling. Okay. How do we save it? All right. Anytime you mess up, you can go over and do a skull skip real quick. Just got to recognize and do it immediately. Oopsies. Yeah, don't do that. Just do it right. <laughs> Take off. 
Felt cute, might do a skull skip later. Maybe. That was not the plan. Okay, let's read Dren. For this part, you want to stand at the back. This gives you an extra hit before P4, which is kind of nice. Lower chance of getting to last row. Explain skull skip. When there's the explosion particles, you just click from here to the inside. Any of these red tiles work. Gray tiles as well. I have both of these marked. So from either side, either way, both work. I like to double ZCB. You can hold a curious if you want to be safe. Killing the boss faster means you need to do less input. I like that. Kill, go, kill boss fast. Good. Keep full prayer. Any waves you should skull skip? If you want points, it's worth sk skull skipping all of them. If it's your first 500, don't skull skip. It's dead. Cool. Uh, 38 minutes, pretty average. I'm not, I don't feel too bad about that. Oh, okay. Still had two doses left easily, so big chillin'. Any purples? Did you ever read the pin comment? <clears throat> what do you have to say to the allegations that you have a fat, juicy dump truck? It's actually true. These are facts. <laughs> I do back it up. 1.1 mil. All right. Never purple. Very average. Um, main main takeaway. Um, don't overcomplicate it. It's not hard. A 500 is pretty easy. Doing DPS is good. Killing boss faster means less prayer used. Means less flicking. Bring more switches. Kill boss gooder. Kill boss gooder means less prey. I use like one dose each boss room, roughly. Um, kill. Everything. Go. Fast. Speed. If you go slow, it's harder. <laughs> so just send it. Just full send. My invos are pretty fast, which keeps it easier. If you start adding things like overly draining, um, medic, uh, take off some things, it's going to make it way harder. So just keep it simple. Like, kill everything fast. Do it fast. Easy. You can drop ZCB if you want to be safe. Bring six restores. Perfect. That works. Six restores, like infinite restore. I see people bring like 12 restores. It's like, what are you doing? You don't need that many. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Bring switches. Kill bosses faster. Less prayer used. Worth. Good. That's it. That's the main thing. Why stock up? Why stock up on prayer when you can stock up on damage? Exactly. You get full prayer after each room, so. <laughs> what if I'm toasty? I'm toasty. Gibby Tuggy with the primer. Good name, dude. Holy. Thank you so much. Should we also be prayer flicking more often? Prayer flick when you can. Um, try not to just camp augury. Augury is like super high drain. Flick piety and rigor where possible. You can flick while red Xing. It should be a zero prayer room for Baba. Like literally zero. And then Zebak is a zero prayer room. You kill it so fast. Um, Kefri, I did it in zero. It's probably like one dose uh, normally. Flick piety when possible. And then turn range prey off if you can, if you're high health, and let Blood Fury heal you. And then... Avoiding Thralls in Monkey Room is big. You waste a lot of prayer there. Um, and then Akka, just camping uh, Mystic Lore. Perfect. That's all you need to do. I You can flick Augury if you're good enough, but that's kind of hard to do while Butterflying, so just camp Mystic Lore, honestly. You can also just only turn it on when you're dealing with Shadows if you don't want to get hit by DPS check, if you're kind of low prayer. It depends where you're at. It all works. Show the invos? Yeah. Uh, hardcore, no supplies, walk the path, Pathfinder, much, much easier than Pathmaster. Pathmaster means you need a different boss layout, which makes it harder. Uh, obviously no quiet prayers. Yes, yes, yes. Diet, dehydration. I don't use overly draining. That's trolling. Um, Overlords is an option. You can use it. I don't like it, but you can use it. It does make Kefri harder and you will use more prayer. Um, don't use medic. All of these should be on. You can turn off Double Trouble or Keep Back, but these honestly are very free if you want to learn them first. It's up to you. 
But if you want to try to get these off for something else, I understand. And then everything else should be on. That's it. If you have standard gear, standard like Kiris, you have everything standard, that's probably ideal to run. So, oh, there you go. They're free in a solo. You should be doing your 500 in a solo. It is much easier solo. 20 points. Yeah. Double Trouble is worth, I think, is the most valuable single room invo. Let me think. Besides, like, Warden. Um, yeah, I think it's worth the most. Is anything else worth 20? No. Yeah, no. So, very, very good to learn if you can. That saves you a lot of trouble. <laughs> 